anti-Qaddafi fighters are closing in on their enemy inside Sirt. They are battling their way into the heart of Qaddafi's hometown. Their enemy, they say, won't give up because they don't only have blood on their hands but are protecting one of Qaddafi's sons. All the facts indicate that uh, Mahtasam is still in Sirt. What is the facts? Some of the families uh, left from Sirt uh, have seen him. Are you worried that Mahtasam managed to escape? I hope not. Uh, it could happen. Anti-Qaddafi fighters say they have blocked escape routes out of the city. Fleeing families are searched. Commanders who have been leading the battle for CERT admit that there have been security lapses. We have seen checkpoints on the outskirts of the besieged city suddenly withdraw, allowing the traffic to flow. I don't know all the the uh, the, the circumstances, uh, facts uh, surrounding this uh, event, but this lasts for only three, 30 minutes, and this is because of uh, an order was uh, given, uh, and it was understood uh, incorrectly. Order given uh, by whom? Uh, I, I I cannot say. What military commanders will say is that the International Committee of the Red Cross failed to properly coordinate with them when they entered CERT. It was a humanitarian mission to bring in much-needed medical supplies. But military commanders say the aid agency didn't inform them of what they brought out. We didn't know what happened when they left. We, didn't, we don't know what they bring with them. So, in, for example, the, the nurse that they brought uh, out, they didn't say that uh, they want to bring people from inside, foreign people. Commanders say the fight is not just about liberating this coastal city. It is also about capturing what they call Qaddafi's criminals, who have been surrounded for some time now. But they fear the ring they created may not have been tight enough. Zanakhudar Al Jazeera, CERT.